Lauren Pinlin. That's still holding. <laughs> Lauren Pinlin, you get what you get. You get what you get. Lauren Pin. When I was seven years old, I saw something I desperately wanted. Light up shoes. Dad, can I get the light up shoes? No. Why? You can't always get what you want. You get what you get. Ugh, life's not fair. Contest master, fellow Toastmasters, and friends, I was immediately sent to the Life's Not Fair chair, also known as Time Out. With a show of hands, who has been sent to the Life's Not Fair chair? I learned many lessons in that chair. Most importantly, if your brother hits you, you do not hit him back because your parents will always catch the second person. <laughs> I also realized the importance of planning in that chair, planning revenge on my brothers, and planning what I wanted for myself in life. Now there are four things I wanted for my life in this order. A good education, a great job, a fantastic husband, and four kids, so we could all wear matching light up shoes. <laughs> I got the good education. I got that great job. I found that fantastic husband. And I got pregnant. I was so excited. But pregnancy was so difficult. I felt so bad the entire time. Towards the end of my pregnancy, I felt worse than normal. And I took my blood pressure, and it showed 216 over 110. I was immediately rushed to the hospital, but I wasn't due for three months. Two days later, my firstborn child was born at two pounds and 10 ounces, a baby the size of my hand. And when they put my child into my arms, I didn't know how to feel. But my son Luke took his finger and wrapped it around my finger, and it gave me peace. Pregnancy did not go how I wanted, but I got what I got. Beautiful baby boy. And four days before Christmas, he was discharged. Just enough time for my fantastic husband to buy him his first pair of light up shoes. <laughs> I told my doctor, I want more children. And she said, wait, due to all of your complications. Friends, when you are told to wait for what you want, what do you do? I took a seat in the life's not fair chair. But I can't make babies if I'm sitting in that chair. <laughs> so I didn't stand there for too long. I stood up. Two years later, I was pregnant with my second child, and I was so excited, a sibling for Luke. At our first visit, they did the sonogram. They put the wand over my belly, and I look on the screen, and I see a baby wiggling, and I hear a thump, 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 the wanted sound of a heartbeat. But during my second trimester, I felt immense abdominal pain, and I knew something was wrong. And I was rushed back to the hospital for another sonogram. They put the wand over my belly, and I look on the screen, and I see a baby, but I don't hear a thump, 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 thump. We lost our second child, and we named him Gabriel. I've conceived two more children since Gabriel, and I've lost both of those babies. Three babies I desperately wanted, three babies I did not get. And I'm not sure if I can safely have more children. Friends, when you do what you're told, you follow the instructions, and you still don't get what you want, what do you do? I took a nice long seat in the Life's Not Fair chair, 
so long that my behind had an imprint in it. <laughs> but I knew I couldn't sit there forever. So I found a very welcome distraction, shopping. In particular, Target. You know, the store where you walk in the list of five items and leave with 50 items. Target knows what you want more than you do. I recently went with my son Luke in tow and I made a very terrible decision. I turned down the toy aisle. <laughs> Can I get one of the wheels? No. Why? Luke, you can't always get what I want. I get what I get. I know. <laughs> Mommy, I love you. You're my favorite girl. Luke. While I appreciate the flattery, the answer is no. You get what you get. And I took my finger and I wrapped it around Luke's finger and I dragged him down the candy aisle. <laughs> I realized in that moment, I'm walking around my favorite store with the child I always wanted wearing matching light up sneakers. You may not have gone through the loss of a child, but there's something in your life that you wanted that you don't have today. And sometimes you just want to take a permanent seat in the life's not fair chair. But I encourage you to stand up, look around. You got what you got, and that may include your very own pair of light up shoes. Contest master.